Hey, Collective. Hope you guys are doing really well. All right, guys. Getting ready to do your reading. Um, this will be a general collective reading as always. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to try and make it fit if it does not. Give me one second. Sorry about that. All right. I think I'm going to start with this deck. This is, I don't know why I'm starting with this deck, actually. You know what? Why don't I put this here and we will start with one of these and then we can add on. All right. So, Spirit for my collective, please. Also, I'm going to try and finish up my fire sun readings. I may get one of them tonight, Leo's or Aries, and then the other one, or I may just finish both tomorrow. I apologize about the delays, too. I feel like I keep, I'm really being pushed to go inside quite a lot right now during my breaks. I don't, I'm working hard, too, but <clears throat> during my breaks, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I'm getting a lot from it, but. So I think there might be some shifts that are definitely happening. I know somebody, I think I heard my girlfriend say something about some kind of solar flares or something like that as well. Something might definitely be impacting the energy right now, asking us to really go within, especially for some kind of shifts that are happening at this time. Maybe something to pay attention to if, if you've kind of been feeling the drive to do that as well. It will help you to balance your energy a lot okay all right so spirit what do we have for the collective denial huh. okay denial coming out first all right let's see what else Oh, wow. Deceit. <clears throat> okay. Success. Beautiful. I have a high priestess of fire on the bottom. Could be dealing with the fire sign. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo here. Let's say you may have a high priestess with one of those as well, or those heavily. I'd say also having those heavily um, aspected in your chart here. I don't know why that's turned around. Aloha healing. Okay. You get one more of those, I think. So interesting because I've literally just talked about healing as well or going with that. Yeah, to be your true self. Just be your true self. Okay, I don't know why this is giving me remnants of Sag the other day. Obviously, these cards are nothing like Sag, but I'm taking kind of back to that message. It was a, honestly, it was an unbelievable message. And thank you guys for all of y'all that really left comments and stuff and let me know. I'm so happy for you guys and your successes and obviously how that related to you. I mean, that's, I just think that's outstanding. I think so many people now are called to, to really put plans into action and really to, to help people. I mean, that's what I feel right. In whatever capacity that you definitely can. So I love knowing that people are really, um, just kind of taking charge in that respect, you know, especially those of you guys, I mean, this is for anybody, obviously, but those of you guys that are kind of going out on a limb, starting your own businesses, using your, your gifts and stuff like that to really help people. And, um, I just, I just think that's really beautiful. Okay. But again, that's done in a variety of ways. Okay. We do those in everyday uh, work environments as well. All right. So this is what I'm really kind of feeling with this. Honestly, I think somebody has been healing. Something is happening here. Okay, something is definitely happening here. Somebody is reaching a lot of success here, but some I just feel like this is more opposition. I think I want to get some more because there is a part of me that doesn't believe that 
this is about you in some way, or it is about you, some aspects, but I believe that that first part may not be about you. Let's keep going. I want to break in my fairies deck tonight. I have full disclosure, I've had it for over a year and I've never used it. <laughs> All right, so we have the Topsy of Turvets. Okay, let's see what that is. That's an interesting card, number 51. Oh, wow. We have death. Fairies of the future. Okay, let's take a look at these and see. And then we have the singer of connection on the bottom. Hmm, I'm trying to really look at all the cards to kind of see. I definitely feel now I'm wondering if that is you. I'm going to keep going to see what's happening. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I have so far. I, I keep going back to the denial and deceit. That may actually be someone here in the collective. Somebody here is definitely heading for a lot of success. How funny that I wanted to commend Sag as we got into this reading, right? For all of the comments on that reading, because that was very much so a reading about moving ahead, right? And these cards right here are absolutely about moving ahead, moving forward in some way and really accessing things. So I think somebody here has definitely been through a lot of healing. They've done a lot of healing work is what it looks like to me. Um, and it's probably because someone was trying to work towards uh, alleviating things that could have definitely been in the way or healing things, I should say, that could have been in the way of, you know, finding their true self in a sense, getting to a much better space, understanding who they were without all of the conditioning, right? Somebody is definitely about, to, I almost feel like this. I mean, you can see that's like a, you know, it's a certificate, right? Congratulations. It says congratulations on it. So I almost feel like it's like sources prompt to say, you know, we're recognizing you for what you've been able to do. And you're ready. Wow, that just came through very clear. Okay, you're ready. All right, so we have the topsy turvies and look at these little interesting faces. So this card is definitely about perspective. Okay, there can be a lot of different perspectives on things, and this is definitely saying that you need to start, begin looking at that, maybe considering other perspectives, but also looking. Now, I feel like you're not looking at something right here. That might actually be the denial point. This tells me that you're not looking at something right, and something needs, you need to give something here another look, because some kind of transformation is happening here with the death card. And this can only happen after some kind of release is had, okay? Something has to be put behind you or at least released for the time being, okay, in order for it to actually transform. With fairies of the future and then the singer of connection, this is really interesting because you can see the fairies, right? They're all literally, see how they're all forward looking? And that's what it's about. It's about looking forward, assessing where it is that you want to go, what it is that you actually wish to achieve and how you're going to, you have to put practical plans into action, right? How you're actually going to get there. And then we have the singer of connection, which is all about how everything connects basically. Okay. So this is quite spiritual. All right. Um, I would say this is more about support and strength kind of flow into you. All right. But it's also about it's, it's as you begin to connect. All right. And get more involved here. So this is not only about what you're doing out here in the world that allows other people to collect that are to connect that helps, I would say, uplift the collective in some way. But it's also about uh, connecting with those around you, okay? So actually establishing connections with those around you that are very empowering to you, that actually assist you and help you and help others as well is what I feel very... Yeah, I, I'm definitely getting a connection. So some of this is definitely going to be for Sag. And actually, I, I do remember, didn't I see? Yeah, there it is. A high Priestess of Air. So I may be definitely dealing with a Sag or any kind of fire sign here. It doesn't have to be, though. 
All of this has come as a result, it looks like, of the work that you've done here. You know, maybe this denial is about you guys. Maybe you've been deceiving yourself about something. Maybe this is why Source is saying you have to take another look if this is you. Could have been in denial about a particular situation. If this has to do with your own growth, that could have been the denial. Maybe it is, you know, I am not great enough to do that. Or I am not, you know, there's no way I could do something like that and be able to build that. Whatever it is you're doing, I'm not really sure. I, it, this is screaming that somebody here has to take a chance. That's what I feel. So whatever it is that you have in your head, okay. I just got very loud and clear. All right, so somebody might be trying to move away from a situation as well that is very limited. Yeah, very limiting to them. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so I definitely feel like someone feels very limited. I, I almost feel like someone could feel very stifled in a sense. So what is this about? So this may actually, I don't know if this is, this could very well be in a work situation. I'm also getting something around a home base, perhaps. Someone could feel almost like they're being held back or even they might be around someone who may have a bit of a controlling nature. Yeah, I almost feel like I have a daydreamer here. I don't know why. I, it's funny because I'm looking at fairies, right? I don't know what the two have to do with each other. <laughs> I don't know why I just made that correlation. But yeah, maybe because I think of fairies almost like kid, I don't know, kids, you know, kid-like or something like that because they're always playful and stuff like that. And I'm thinking of someone that's kind of doing this, this dreamy kind of thing. I don't know if someone's dreaming to have some kind of better life or they're dreaming to maybe get out of this, maybe daydreaming about having a different life. Somebody definitely is trying to get out of something here. Maybe this has been a result of some kind of healing. This could also be what this is about. Maybe someone is looking at something from a different perspective now and knowing that this is something that they have to release in order to move forward here. And, you know, with this singer of connection, this could be showing me this is someone who's really tapping in as well to the universe and the universal knowledge here. They can feel almost like a pull that's pulling them ahead in some way. Yeah, someone definitely feels very stifled. I don't know if there's a, a situation where someone's not being acknowledged. I guess it could be not being acknowledged, but I almost feel like a, not only overlooked, I feel almost like someone's in my space, if that makes sense. It's almost like somebody is just too concerned or in my space or almost watching over me. It does feel a bit imposing. I think that's the right word. Probably imposing. All right, let's see what is going on for you guys. Posing in my personal space. <laughs> All right. Okay, I am get. I don't know why this is coming through so strong. I'm definitely in this energy here of someone needing to. Someone has got to make a decision. They have to branch out in some way. Perhaps someone has held. Some this could obviously be what the denial is about too. Somebody could have held, held tight to something for so long. Yeah, this is really a crazy energy that I'm feeling. Obviously, this is all intuitive that I'm getting my hits right now. Those are very sound. I mean, I trust them more than even the cards. So, I mean, I, I definitely feel like this is someone who is trying to get away from... I don't know why I feel more personal around this. Something feels very imposing in my space. So I don't know if you guys are living with someone or maybe someone here is living with someone or working with someone where they feel very stifled. This would be something where somebody would be in my face like quite a bit. Like I feel like someone knows everything that I'm doing. They're keeping up with everything that I'm doing. It's a very interesting energy. I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. Let's go come on collective, please. Okay. 
So maybe somebody has been in that energy, maybe under someone's roof even, or maybe working in the same environment that's not allowing them to grow. And now that they've been doing their own healing here and really trying to, really listening, I would say, okay, to what the universe has given them. Maybe it's just become kind of, oh, wow, overwhelming. Look at that. First card out, the tower. Yeah. So someone could be in complete upheaval right now. Okay. There's definitely some kind of foundational shift that is going on. So maybe kind of that, that stifled, that kind of stress, um, that, that feeling where I was feeling of kind of claustrophobic, or <laughs> like the money's all up in my space. Um, maybe this is why maybe someone's feeling that somebody could be having like an internal tower as well at this moment, right? Because they know that something has to give, like I got to get out of here could be what I was feeling in terms of like daydreaming about something new, like a different situation. Like I don't want to be in this. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, that's Leo energy. So we have the six of wands here. We could definitely have someone here. So this could be around work for sure. This could be someone who's in, in the limelight. Okay, I have all these cards flipping. I didn't even notice. Another card of Leo. Okay, well, you definitely could be a Leo or be dealing with a Leo here. Look at this. What about telling a story? Okay, well, just this is everything we just talked about. I mean, literally, you could have someone here that is, they might be in a position. So this could be someone who's either in the limelight or they do something where they're in the public eye in some way. This person could, a lot of people could depend on this person. They could get a lot of attention, but a lot of people could just depend on this person. They obviously have several... They must have things that they do, again, for like the public or something like that, where people are pretty dependent on them. This could also be around some kind of household or something like that as well. This person seems really, this might be a person that is generally very, and they could be very, I shouldn't say usually, this person could be very courageous, all right? They could have a lot of inner strength, a lot of conviction, even for whatever this is. All right, but you can see what's really going on here on the inside. We have someone who's in a lot of anxiety. Their sleep's being uh, interrupted. They have a lot of trauma that is there, uh, potentially even PTSD um, for some reason here is what I'm getting. I don't know if there's a veteran attachment. It doesn't have to be, but um, somebody wants to change. They want to invest with the Zace of Pentacles over here. They want a new opportunity. They want a new venture. They want to get out of whatever this is. I think someone feels like they're under the microscope. That's what it feels like to me. Someone feels like they're under the microscope, almost like everything I'm doing uh, is being watched so closely. I want to change, but how do I get this change? Tell us about this story. Okay, so this could be a King of Swords here. So this could be somebody who, this could definitely be someone in the legal field in some way, but the King of Swords is someone that is about truth. They're about discipline. They can definitely be a an air sign here. So Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. This is somebody that deals really well with their intelligence. They deal really well with facts, with documents, things of that nature. They're very, uh, so this is not a person that's going to be heavily in their emotions. Okay. But they are in their emotions. This is just not what you're seeing on the outside here. This is not something being expressed. I feel like this person almost feels like they have the weight of the world on them. A lot could be coming down. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I don't know if there's something also going on legally as well, where they feel like everything is kind of falling down around them. They're being challenged in a lot of ways. It's funny that I keep saying, I feel like someone is under the microscope. So I don't know if there's some kind of investigation or something that may be going on as well that could be happening, or maybe people are just looking into them or they feel like people are watching them. I was definitely getting that. Move some of these cards out the way. All right, let's see what else here. What else can you tell us about this story? What is this in regards to? Specifically, what is this in regards to for the collective, please? Oh, wow. Yeah, so they want freedom from something. 
they want they have to release something then we have the knight of wands okay so they definitely have to release something here we have the devil in reverse and then we have the knight of wands i mean maybe this is just about having i don't think so no i mean it could be this could also be part of the issue though right we have the devil here somebody might be trying to get disconnected from some kind of addiction you're trying to get free from some kind of toxic situation. Okay, this is definitely a card of freedom. It's about releasing something. It's about restoring control in your life. Something about this situation feels completely out of control. I don't think this person really thinks that they're making their own decisions, so to speak. Okay. But I'm wondering if this is more perceived because that is a card about being in your head. Is this more perceived than real? Let me see what else this is about. Because honestly, with the Six of Wands um, laying on top of the Nine of Wands, I wonder if this has to do with, let me see. Yeah, look at the burdens. Then we have, yeah, wow. Six of Swords. See, this person knows. This is what they dream of. They're trying to get away in that Six of Swords energy. What else, Spirit? Nine of Swords, yeah. So something, something is about to really. I think someone knows what they have to do in a situation. Okay, they know it. I think they feel the call. We do have Star here on the bottom too. Can allude to some kind of healing that is taking place. We saw that to be, begin with. That could also tell me though that someone needs to have some kind of healing as well. Someone needs to have some healing. I really feel. So if this is not you, whoever this is for, whether it's you, whether it's someone who you're actually dealing with here, somebody has been in a great deal of denial here about a particular situation. Maybe they didn't want to see a situation. That's why these eyes here say it's time to change your perspective or it's time to look. Okay, take a look at this again because something is, is deceptive here. Something's not right. And you're going to have to release something. We actually saw that twice in order for you to have some kind of forward moving, movement. You need to be focusing not on all of this anymore, all of this drama, all of these problems. You need to be focusing on moving forward, on looking forward to your future, what it is that you're wanting. Okay, that's what you need to be thinking about. Not nightmares, not anxiety, not a sense of hopelessness, you know. This is definitely spirit nudging someone to to pull together okay and i definitely think this person is, is highly being looked after by spirit okay that's probably who created this tower in their life something definitely has to change for somebody because i don't think that somebody here is moving forward the way that they're supposed to i think they've been maybe in a state of a lot of materialism here maybe a lot of pleasure here with the knight of wands straight up as well Okay, this could also tell me they get a lot of attention. Maybe they were acting on that. Maybe that created a lot of issues for them as well. Their need for passion here. They could have been very impulsive in and out of people's lives in some way. Okay, whatever it is. It's weird. I'm looking at this and thinking about a dark attachment too. So this person may actually have an attachment or maybe they did. Maybe that's why they felt like they were chained to the devil in some way. Whatever it is, I think it's created a ton of burdens for someone here and they're trying to see their way out of this okay and they are very much so trying to not show any emotions is what i'm feeling at this particular point um you know i think that they have been in this state of just indecision for so long the state of denial okay kind of deceiving themselves it's created a big stalemate in their life in terms of being able to really move ahead I have Capricorn energy, I have Sag energy. Mm. This is Sag as well. I'm Libra, Aquarius, and that's Gemini on the end. Yeah, this has definitely created a stalemate in someone's life here. But most importantly, this person has felt like this was a difficult choice. And and maybe maybe they've been, if this is a career, maybe they've been in this career for a long time. Maybe they don't want to look at what the obvious is. I did that for I did that for a decade. I mean, you know, we do get caught up in things like that. But there's no movement. There's no real growth there. There's no happiness after a while. Okay. It's just not sustainable unless you're willing to numb out. And it looks like this is a person that's very aware 
okay, of what this is doing to them because it's impacting every part of their life. They're anxious, all right? So they might have some kind of anxiety disorder as well. They're definitely losing sleep is what it looks like to me. Somebody here, this is part of this daydream here. Somebody here is wanting to move forward, knows that they need to move forward and leave something behind. I feel like somebody here is definitely ready for some kind of transition here. This may be a mother and her child, or this may be, honestly, maybe this is a family. This could be a, you know, this could be, I don't know if this is the person just rowing the boat here. Or if they're, yeah, I feel like this is the person probably rowing the boat because they're all dressed quite differently. So this could be a mother and her child, or this could definitely be... Well, it could be anybody, obviously. I see there's another, I don't know if they're moving across water or trying to get out of here and move across water. They're definitely trying to get to some kind of calmer waters here where they're not dealing um, with all of the same problematic issues that they are now. Yeah, I think with these two together, they're the Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords. I definitely get that... that why do I feel like, okay, let me see, where is this person going? Let me just see this before I comment on that last card because I just got a hit when I was getting ready to talk about it. So, oh wow, three of swords. Where is this person going? Oh my, okay. Knight of Cups, two of wands, ten of swords. So, <clears throat> let me get one more. The Queen of Swords, look at that. The Queen and the King of Swords. And then we have the Hierophant. So, okay. It looks to me like somebody is... I think someone wants to come in and defend. So someone may be trying to come towards you. You could, um, obviously, if this is you, take it as it resonates. You could be moving towards somebody else quite impulsively, okay? But why do I feel like this is more about defending someone's beliefs here? Someone feels like they have something to talk about, something to say. They feel like they're defending themselves in some way. I don't know if they can, I don't know why I got that. I don't know if this is a person that you talk to or if this is someone who can hear. I'm going to say that if they can hear you. I don't know why I said that. Um, so maybe you're talking to them. It's funny because I think this person's emotions are kind of, kind of going crazy a bit. Maybe they've been going through their own healing. Maybe they've been working really hard to disconnect from some really bad patterns. Okay. Some bad addictions that they had. Again, I'm going to go back to, it could be uh, about their own passions. Okay. And maybe even their play, if they were a player, it could have definitely been their player ways in some way. This is somebody who is working with a, some kind of heartbreak is what I feel. All right. So this is definitely somebody who's been suffering in silence in some sense. That could also be part of the anxiety here. But they didn't want to move out of another situation. They didn't want to see it for what it is. Okay. Something has definitely come up. You know, the fact that I see this success is definitely telling me that somebody has had some uh, step in the right direction, right? Because it literally is a certificate that says congratulations. So somebody has moved ahead. They've taken a step in the right direction, maybe a, an ascension of sorts, right? But something tells me this person is not quite, although we did see the king of swords before, we see a lot of knights here. How many knights do I have? One, two, three. So I do have three knights here. So I don't know if queen to the knight, somebody could be a little bit younger. This person may be a bit immature when it comes to emotions. Or if this is you, you could be younger as well. Or maybe just not as advanced as someone else, perhaps, emotionally. Somebody here is really suffering here and going through a lot of grief here because it looks like their heart is has been with somebody else. But they haven't been willing to make some kind of choice here. 
because the choice involves leaving things behind. They could be leaving a home. Okay, I don't know if this is a hometown, a home state, something like that. They may need to leave some kind of home here. They also had to leave other things behind. So a certain amount of growth needed to be made is what it looks like to me before someone could actually leave something else behind. And they might actually be leaving following some kind of... Yeah, they may have just ended something. There could be some kind of collapse here, some kind of defeat here in a sense. They could feel, I mean, the swords are in this person's back. Every card is different, but this one is straight in the back. So they could have felt um, betrayed in some sense. This is really weird because I just attributed, I don't know if this is someone's boss. Or if this is about someone's boss. I don't know why I just got that. Maybe this is, I don't, okay, I don't know. I'm, I'm stepping too far out here. This is just intuitive hits that I'm getting, or maybe there was a boss in the picture. Maybe that's how you guys know each other. Maybe it's around some kind of work situation as well. So they may be moving towards someone again that is in this Queen of Wands energy here. We do have uh, Gemini here. I'm sorry, did I say Queen of Wands? I meant Queen of Swords. My apologies if I did that. So this is definitely an air energy. So we have a Queen of Swords here. So again, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And we have some water as well over here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. More Libra on the end and more fire. So I really feel, and then we have Taurus down here as well. Somebody's trying to move towards some kind of Queen of Wands here. All right. And I think this is, uh, so somebody that they obviously see as their match. It's interesting because I'm wondering if you broke this person's heart. Or if they feel like their heart has been broken due to some kind of divide that's been here with you. I do listen. I don't I want to see what they're getting out of because this person is looking at some kind of commitment here. So it's really important for me to see what it is that they're coming out of so I can see why they were coming in so concrete here, wanting to defend some kind of position. I feel like I need to I need to uh, clear something up. Right. I need to get the truth out there. I need to defend my beliefs or I almost feel like what you think about me. So this may have something to do with something that happened in the past. I, you know, I did slip up and say, you know, I don't know if they can hear you or I start. I almost said that and then I repeated it. So I think that I don't know if they heard you say this or maybe you said this to them or maybe they can hear you. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you put it in a meme. We do a lot of talking through memes now, right? Okay, let me look and see what's been going on. Let me see if I can get some background. Well, in moments. Let's use... Actually, let me use this deck. This one's pretty good about filling in the blanks. All right, Spirit, what can you tell me about... This particular situation. Also, guys, I'm going to be setting up a reading for... I need to figure out how I'm going to do it, just for guys. Because, honestly, a quarter of my um, subs are men, right? And we have a lot, I feel like, that come out that end up being focused on women. Although that's never my intention. You know, I don't even lay an intention. <laughs> Maybe it's because a lot of the collective is women. I don't know. So I do want to make sure that I have something for... These define masculines as well. It's important to me. Although energies are energies, and you know, you can, if it's your story and you know the details, or it feels right to you, then obviously you can switch it up as well. Always advised. All right. Okay. Let's get some more details on this situation. Stalker. So this is somebody who's watching you. 
This is so interesting because I went into this reading talking about somebody all up in someone's energy. Maybe you already feel that. Maybe you feel like someone is watching you. Maybe you already sense someone's coming towards you. It's definitely somebody who's watching you or has been watching you. Maybe they can hear you. Maybe they can hear you. Maybe they're watching you. Okay. Uh, again, this could be social media. This could be around work. Something along those lines. Listen, I feel like I'm listening to everything you're saying. I don't know why. So, wish granted. Okay. So, somebody is definitely holding you in high regard here. I'm wondering if something's happened. I almost feel like there was stagnancy here. I do feel like a great deal of it was just them for some reason, but let me see what comes out. Because, yeah, look. Yeah, this person is stressed out of their mind. We already saw that. I saw that twice already. I think this person might feel like you, yeah, you're like a wish granted for them. I don't know if you can. Okay, so there, something about, I just feel like they're watching you. I don't know why I feel like they're just watching you, listening. I keep going back to listening. So maybe they're listening to you. I don't know. Maybe that's what the stalking is. Something about actually hearing you in some way. I don't, I'm don't. i wondering if this person was tied to a job or something else. Y'all look at this, ignoring you. You're ignoring this person. Maybe they feel ignored by you too. Or maybe you think this person is, has been ignoring you and meanwhile they're not. They're actually stalking you. They're looking at you. So there's definitely been, there's something that you're doing too. And I think there's something that you're doing as well that shows your level of healing. It shows the amount of success that you've been able to achieve. It shows that you've really stepped up into your true self here. I feel a very, in, okay, I'm feeling a lot of intensity now, so I know I'm on the right track. I just feel like, I think someone's love has actually grown here. Look at this falsehood. <laughs> I mean, I think this may have been obviously the issue. Okay, maybe they're stressed out as well because of that. Maybe they did ignore you in the past. Maybe they were being fake, all right? Putting on a mask. Acting, they could have even been acting like they didn't care in some way. Yeah, this person could have been a player. I just saw evidence come out. And then I got advice. Somebody here has definitely been wearing a mask and they could still be wearing a mask. That's what I feel. It could be this person that's acting like they're not interested whatsoever. If they're acting that way, if they come across like they're ignoring you or they, I feel like this could have been past energy here for some reason. So just take it as it resonates. This person's definitely been getting advice, I think, on how to make something work, but they're incredibly, I feel like they're incredibly stressed about it. You may have caught them in some kind of player ways too with this evidence. And I say the evidence can be anything on this particular card. It literally has lipstick on the shirt. So it could definitely be someone who was playing around or playing the field. I almost feel like I'm planning, like I'm, I'm listening and I'm planning. Somebody is getting some kind of advice here. They could be talking to a trusted friend. They could be talking to, because remember this person has the Hierophant, okay, on the brain here. So they have some kind of commitment on the brain. So they could be talking to even a priest or, you know, I don't know, some kind of advisor. They could be talking to a therapist. Somebody's definitely trying to get some kind of advice on this situation. Look at this. Lunch breaks work. So I don't know who this person is, but look at that. Now, you may know them from this. You could have known them from work. It says lunch breaks work affairs. I'm wondering if that is part of the issue here. Because I said they could have gotten some trouble around them. It could have created some of these heavy burdens, especially if they were in this player energy. Honestly, something around... This could definitely be a situation where someone's karma 
has drove them into a bit of this awakening, so to speak, okay? They're having to really look at their life. They're looking at everything that's been created, all the stress, all the sleepless nights. They could literally feel like they're under the microscope. Notice this says work affairs. I think they bit off more than they could chew quite potentially here. So people at work may also be looking. Didn't I bring up work? Didn't I say something like a boss? Like, is this someone's boss? I mean, it could definitely be with someone's boss or it could be with maybe women or men around work. I almost feel like there might be some gossip, though, some slander around this as well that might be actually creating problems for somebody. Somebody definitely feels like they are under um, the microscope. That's what I feel. Everything's being watched here. And I think they feel judged. That's what I get with this. Oh, you know what I just got? I mean... <laughs> I mean, I hate to go here, but if this is about, do you remember when I started out the whole reading, I started talking about oppression when I started throwing down these cards. So I wasn't even here yet. I was way up here. I started talking about feeling very oppressed. All right. I'm just going to put this out here. Whoever I'm talking about here, I do think this person, um, I think this might be a situation around work or either meeting people through work or something like that. I do think something is lending to someone's reputation. Definitely not good. I think somebody here could have also been interacting with their boss in a sense. There's some kind of evidence here as well. Maybe they got called out for it. Hopefully, because they are getting advice, hopefully not from counsel, right? So if it is a situation like that, I'm not sure if... I mean, I hate to go into sexual harassment, but it could be even a claim of that. Whatever it is, I almost feel like, and even with this falsehood here, I'm, now I'm feeling like this could actually be others around them as well. I'm not saying this person was in good energy because they absolutely were not. I'm going to pray this is not you, but if it is, it just is. Whatever it is, it definitely has sent somebody into a new pathway. I do think this person may have definitely has some kind of attachment or something going on, some kind of darkness around them. I'm just going to put it out there. Okay, we have the devil energy. So, you know, and they're just, they're trying to really heavily, whatever it is, it's made them think about these things. Okay. What they need to let go of. I, why am I feeling like this person doesn't have any like good, like good people around them to steer them in the right direction? It's almost like, I don't know if I'm going to go as far as misogyny, but I almost feel a sense of that. Maybe they work in an environment that's like that. You know, if it's a, if it's a male, maybe it's an environment that's like that, that kind of applauds that kind of behavior in a sense. But I almost feel like this, I almost feel like I might be talking about a male and it might be a male where also men are coming down on them. So maybe not. I think they've had some false people around them as well. I'm not saying that their actions were okay, but I do think they've also had some false people around them as well. This is a person that's hungry for knowledge, wants to grow. I think they'll do things to stand out, honestly. And I definitely feel like this is someone who... Uh, so they want to achieve things. That's what I feel. They want to know to, They want to be noticed. They want to be respected. They want to achieve things. I almost want to say they might be... Um, in a position where they are respected or maybe it's a respectable position in some way but now they're going through all of that stuff yeah look at this they're going through all of that and this is just turning into utter chaos for them okay because there is a lot of fighting there is a lot of backbiting i feel like that's going on here uh they could feel like there's a there's a lot of fun look at this <laughs> wow we, we see where this is going right we can see that um, there's a lot of falsehood around them. Like the people that they are around most definitely are not. Well, I don't think that they have their back. They're in a very stressful situation. And it looks to me like it's, it's heading straight for a disaster. I mean, we see it. So maybe they see or maybe they've seen the writing on the wall and they've just kind of hung in there. As we do, right? Trying to make things work out. Trying to continue on. This might be something they've been at for a long time. Yeah, look. This person's going crazy. They're on their head. They're looking at their options. You see that, right? They're looking at their options here. 
If this is a case of infidelity as well, especially if you're dealing with a player energy, say that they might have had a, a partner or something at home. There could be a lot of fighting around that arena as well. All hell is kind of breaking loose here. Because somebody's watching you. Okay, so I don't know who is... So who is the stalker then? I feel like this person has been watching somebody else. It's funny because that devil energy always shows, especially with an attachment. I mean, you do crazy stuff. So I don't know if somebody's been like obsessively... I don't know if they are... Let me keep going. I almost feel like someone has like a, a obsession with you. Look at this. Putting thoughts in my mind. And notice that's a heart, right? I think someone wants you to love them. That's what I feel. All right. I think someone wants you to love them. I think someone can't get you off their mind. I think their life is literally in utter chaos right now. Look at this. So with that, you got the lady there. She's looking at two men here. Can't decide what it is she needs to do here. Because I think that one of them could be very... Again, I felt this energy of feeling like there was uh, someone in my space, like too close in my face, right? A very opposing energy. Someone wants someone to love them and that person is actually ignoring them and I think that's you. So maybe you've had a rough go with this person. Maybe you let them go because, or, you know, I don't, maybe you never started with them, but I'm feeling like you might have let them go here, okay? Especially if they were in this kind of player type energy. Or if you saw them around work and they tried to come at you because they had some kind of feelings for you or um, or wanted to formulate some kind of relationship with you, you may not have been having it, especially if you knew they were this way. Okay. Someone wants you to love them. Okay, so someone may be, you might be getting little hits, honestly, where you're feeling like you're getting... If you're getting songs a lot, if you're getting um, things that are constantly reminding you of someone who you're not with, then yeah, look at this. Wow. That's why. But I'm going to tell you, this this is just a lot of chaos. We've seen it here. Okay. We literally have the tower here. Every part of this person's foundation, I'm going to say that very loosely because I don't think it's a foundation at all, is falling apart for them. And really pushing them into a state of growth. And I'm going to tell you why it's coming so hard, so heavy. It's because this person's been in a state of denial. Okay, they've been deceiving themselves about their own growth. Okay, about what they needed to do. About even taking accountability here. Something is definitely coming up here. And, you know, the starter cards could also be telling me this is what you're dealing with. I'm going to keep going with the cards to see if this is the case. This is what you're dealing with. And remember, we had a card here that somebody needs to take a look. Somebody better look at the situation the way it is, okay? Because something about your perspective may not be as clear as it seems. You might want to take, you might want to relook at a situation because something has to be released here. So this is not this person I'm talking about. This could be you. Because somebody's done a lot of healing here and they've had a lot of excess kind of stepping into their true self, but there might be something here that they're still hanging on to that is holding them back. Okay. Keeping them from moving forward here. I, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say for a lot of you guys, I feel like spirit has a different direction for you. I don't know. That's not going to be for everybody, but I do believe that. Yeah. You may just get someone here that is, oh wow, that card just flew out. What is it? Oh, it's still hurt. So, <laughs> then I see female running on the bottom. So, I think you do have someone here that is trying to change, okay? I see change in here. Someone who's going through some changes, okay? They have really focused, maybe by not saying anything, you know? I really think that someone here has held on to something way too long. 
they've had to have a lot. I, I just feel like this person's had a lot of come to Jesus moments. That's what I feel. Okay. Like they just, I don't know if they're just hard headed. They're probably not dense. They're just, you know, stuck in their ways. In a lot of ways, they weren't willing to see what was happening here. They had to really be pushed. They had to make it so uncomfortable that they just couldn't stand it. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody here is being pushed to some kind of changes. And this may also have something to do with whatever the, I, I said they're listening to you. So whatever they're listening to, okay? So this person could just pop up, okay, in your, you know, in your messages in some way. I don't know if you knew them from Instagram here. It says, you know, DMs and double tap likes. So maybe they pop up and start liking your stuff. Maybe they just drop you some kind of message, something along those lines. It doesn't have to be Instagram. It could be any form of message and service. So because they definitely view you as someone who is running away from them. And maybe they see you as someone who's still hurt from how they behaved before. Okay. Maybe something that they did, some kind of. Um, behavior that they had here in the past that could have been harmful to the connection. Whether you're female or male, they feel like somebody could be running away from them. But they think you're their person. Make no mistake about that. Okay, there's only two uh, cards here, core cards. Well, we have, a, I'm sorry, one queen and one king here. Look at this. Here's another one. I'm telling you, this person is going to be dropping something in your DMs, okay? They're going to be messaging you. They're going to be tweeting you. And they're going to be, they're doing something, okay? So if you're on Twitter, they may already be on that. Maybe this is how they're watching you. I don't know if they watch you on Instagram, if they watch you um, on Twitter or some kind of social media format in some way. Hush, hush. Yeah, look. So even if this person's been involved in something else, they've never they've never stopped watching. I'm telling you, they've haven't you have always been on their mind. Okay? And I almost feel like I can't stop watching. I can't stop listening because something about you has let this person know I think the extent of their feelings, but something also about what what they've done wrong or what they believe has happened. Look at this negative thoughts about you. And you notice that's a little devil, right? I keep talking about this freaking attachment. That's a little devil. Okay. So this person has had very negative thoughts in terms of this. I feel like they did. All right. So I'm going to say this. Don't get offended. You know, it may make them not trust. Especially if you're, I don't know, something about the attention you get or something like that. There's something about it that they don't trust. But a lot of this definitely stems to their own negative thoughts, okay? They're, and this is from past stuff, past wounds, past conditioning, things like that. They have to get that straightened out. You know, maybe they have a history of that too where they just can't do that. This person has never, I don't care what they were doing, they've never stopped watching you. And they've never tried, they've never stopped trying to get you to, I don't know if they're trying to get you to reach out or something. Think about them only stay where you are until I'm ready to move out of my comfort zone. Something along those lines there. Yeah, because they want to try again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at, I'm just going to look at this dark mirror real quick. <laughs> It's probably not the deck to go into, but I just really want to see because I see that there might be some changes or finally someone knows that they have to make some kind of change here. I really want to see though, if there's some kind of dark aspect that I need to consider in this situation in terms of their psyche. Oh, envious and gluttony. Look at that. What an ugly card, actually. Okay. Get one more. So this is the dark mirror. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say there might be some competition calling the storm. Look at this. Oh, my God. 
There might be some competition here between you and someone else. Yeah. <laughs> Peaceful among thorns. I'm going to guess that's you. So you're the healed one. <laughs> so you're the healed one. Okay. I think I know why I kept saying they're listening to you. So I don't know. So you could very well be around this person. I don't see anything to indicate this is past tense. But I think with the ignoring card, it could very well be someone you're not talking to currently. So I'm just going to talk to you about this person just for a minute. I I guess that's why I was probably drawn to this. Okay, I wanted to see if there was some kind of dark element to what's going on. We have envious and gluttony, and I do feel that with this person, okay? But I almost feel, looking at all three of them together, that this is there is an awareness here. So this is definitely, I think a few days ago I did something about the shadow work that had to be done. Somebody wasn't done or doing it, and this is kind of... This is making me feel that way as well because that particular card is about someone who knows it's there and um i do let me let me back up for a second i do feel that this person and i don't i just want you to understand this is not really about you this is about them this is about their wounds this is about the the stuff that they carry inside the shadows that they have to work through right the trauma because they do feel like they have been in some kind of I feel like a competition with you, okay? So you're ignoring them, so you may not even know this competition is present, or maybe this is something that you saw when you guys were, you know, when you weren't ignoring them, I don't know. Um, they want to be where you are, but is there feelings here? Um, did I even see feelings? I don't really know. I think they do want to be, They. I think they feel like your counterparts, but for something about where you are versus where they are is kind of bothersome to them. And the thing is, they have not been willing, I feel like, to address that wound, okay? They haven't been willing to. So maybe that's what they've been getting the advice about. So if you guys were having a lot of, uh, fights or maybe some kind of fallout or something like that in the past that could have very well been the culprit this person felt underneath it all like they may not have even known what was kicking up in them that they were very envious of you very competitive when it comes to you okay very much so in competition and again i think that they knew that that was somewhere very um just something they didn't want to go into and really find out. Honestly, it could have really flawed uh, or created problems within the relationship is what I'm feeling here. But calling in the storm is actually really interesting because this is all about your power coming from the inside, okay? But, <coughs> I'm sorry, not from the inside, but from the connection that's outside, right? And the integration. <coughs> so I'm thinking that well, actually, I'm not thinking. I'm knowing that this is somebody calling in the storm. This is somebody that knows that they are going to have to really dig deep here. They know that they're going to have to really um, connect, perhaps connecting to source, maybe really dive in deep into the situation as well here if they want to, to get anything done. Oh, you know what it is? It's this card right here about the connection, right? They know they have to connect. So I think this person is hooking up. I think they're and not the way they used to. <laughs> I really think that they're hooking up. I think they're hooking up into the universe, into universal knowledge. You may be conveying some kind of universal knowledge too. That might be why they're listening to you or why I can't keep getting that. So at the end of it all, we see peaceful among the thorns. This is something that you've been able to achieve, okay? It doesn't matter how rocky your external is, okay? Or what you have going on around you, you've been able to find some kind of peace in your life. And I definitely know that this is something that this person is wanting to achieve and trying to achieve, okay? Colin in the Storm is actually a great card. It looks, honestly, when I first saw it, I thought, ah, oh, I don't know. But when I'm looking at it, this in this lineup, this is actually perfect, because this is someone who's really 
tapping in at this time and doing some diving. So this, when I go back to the advice card, this could be somebody, they could be looking to spiritual teachers. They could be watching tarot, but they could be looking to spiritual teachers, um, doing their own studies. You know what I'm saying? Something like that to, to get advice, to get more connected here so that they can do the work. Yeah, because they know that their life has been just utter chaos here. Whatever they've been doing, it might have worked for a while, but it, it has been utter chaos. This person does feel hurt by you. They could have hurt you too. They feel hurt by you as well. But I think they feel hurt by you because you I, you may have been very quick to cut out the, the BS, okay? <clears throat> and maybe they're understanding as well that a lot of the issues that were here before was due to their own negative thinking, okay? Their lack of trust their own wounds, their um, willingness to make this something competitive and, and have these, you know, very ugly things that come as a result of it, like being envious, okay? <clears throat> yeah, so, so let me pull on just an out, I'm going to get an outcome there because I want to see. <clears throat> so we do have somebody that's doing their work. Okay, we do have someone that feels like, or maybe they, you know what, the peaceful among thorn, amongst the thorns too could be telling me that they've been trying to do that as well in their environment. <clears throat> so they could have been doing this and kind of keeping it under wraps with the people that have been around them. But meanwhile, things are just erupting because that's the way it is, right? <laughs> No stone shall be left unturned, right? So unfortunately, a lot of things come to, they rise to the top so that we can see them and clear them out. And that might also be what is happening here. Your person could also have a bit of a victim mentality, I feel. Feeling like they're being persecuted in some way. So they would have to really be able to get beyond that. <clears throat> always ask, always, always, always ask Source and your angels for, for help and seeing things clearly and to give you clarity and a spirit of discernment right because you do want to be able to see things very clearly and also the the awareness to to really get it to get the lesson to um yeah to really get the lesson so that you can grow from it Accountability is a great thing. It's not a bad thing, right? It's a great thing. And your life really moves so much easier when we are accountable. Temperance here. That's beautiful. So starting out here, we have someone that's actually finding their equilibrium, right? They're finding some kind of balance here. That's Sagittarius energy. I think this had to happen because I do believe this person may have had a lot of um, false false people around them too i keep going back to that yeah look at that yeah this is this is definitely a person that's finding their equilibrium and completely uh losing interest in whatever's around them completely this is something look at this we have the seven of pentacles in reverse this person is not investing anymore over there not at all look at this moving forward so this could also be around a family situation as well. Look at that. They don't want to invest in this family situation, it looks like, anymore. Okay, this could have been something that, that kept them held up for a long time. Or whatever was bringing them emotional fulfillment or they thought would be emotional fulfillment before as well. It looks to me like they don't want to do that. Uh-oh, grab that. Far. Yeah, this has been something that they have gained a lot of perspective on is what I'm feeling here because they've been stuck in that place for so long. Look at this. This person's looking at some kind of reunion here. All right. So what does this have to do with the collective? You cannot make this up. Look at that. Queen of Swords. I'm telling you, I said, what does this have to do with the collective? And you got the Queen of Swords. I us say earlier, they're moving towards the Queen of Swords. So, <clears throat> what it has to do with you is that it's about you. <laughs> yeah. 
Look at this. You got the devil energy. I'm, somebody feels chained to you. I think there's a bit of an obsession here. Somebody wants to talk. Um, that's quite clear here. They want to move towards you. Yeah, they don't know what to expect. I feel like with the situation here, I think things are very unclear. I think this person is very much so in their emotions here. They definitely have a lot of love here uh, that they're feeling in their heart that they want to convey. I think they're really eager as well. They might find you very, I want to say sexually enticing as well here. Look at, um, look, you cannot make this up. Okay, now you got the king of swords. They think, I told you, this person feels like you are their match. They may know you're their match and you may know that about them as well. Okay, they want to move towards their person here. Plain and simple. Now we have these coming up. Remember before it was the king first and then the queen. And now we have the queen and then the king. So flip them up as they need to be. It could be either as we always know. But the bottom line is you have two people um, that could honestly, even in the swords, this could definitely tell me two people who are thinking a lot about each other as well. That have been in some kind of hangman position because somebody here needed to to definitely do some work is what it looks like okay now i don't know where they're at in that but this part looks good somebody has definitely got some kind of perspective gotten some kind of balance some kind of equilibrium in their life where they're feeling very certain about the fact that they do not like what they have around them okay not only options around them i feel like this is i don't like my life i don't want to invest here anymore in what i've been getting because this isn't bringing me a sense of fulfillment a sense of happiness here okay i've gotten my perspective now i want to have some kind of reunion hmm. Yeah, this person's definitely coming towards you. I feel like with some kind of, uh, it appears to me some, oh, <laughs> yeah, there's that past card coming towards you with some kind of love offer. All right. Very sweet. Very loving. I think they're going to be kind. You know, if this is not a love thing, this could be, you know, because soulmates and all that, that it doesn't have to be about a romantic connection. This could be a friendship. This could be a family member. This is very much so a card about friendship and family members. Also, it could be about a past love as well. Um, but it's very sweet. It's very enduring. This is, you know, someone who are great friends, who listen to each other, who have fun with one another. Okay. It's easy sharing and caring, right? Yeah, I think somebody has definitely gotten some kind of perspective here. And, you know, I, I'm going to go back up to these cards up here because I did throw them very late. I do think someone has come to terms with what they need to do uh, and how they need to do it to get to, to get to this place here. Again, they could have been going through this, this one that says peaceful amongst the thorns. They could have been transforming or trying to make the changes in their life around that. Now, sometimes that can be very hard, but it can certainly be done. Maybe taking themselves out of some kind of equation here to do more work would be more beneficial for them, okay? But this person has great passion for you. That goes without saying. All right, let me get a couple of these and let's just close it up. As always, guys, sorry if this goes too long. You know, I have no idea how long the readings are until I get ready to, or until I stop this, the recording. All right, let's get one and a half of the collective here, please. Devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Krishna. Pretty. Diana, focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. Get one more. Higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Obviously, this isn't going to be for everybody, but whoever this is for here, I I think this is going to be for someone who's who has been with a person who's obviously been doing some work, okay? And enough that you would recognize it. And, you know, the thing about it is... Whatever this offer is about here, and I, I want you to understand, we started with a marriage card up there as well. You know, this is what they're trying to get back to. 
okay? Um, they definitely feel like this is a very valuable connection, I feel like, in their life. And one that uh, I think they feel very protective over, to be honest. So whoever this person is that is coming back in, what you need to know is they feel like you are you're the person. I don't think it would be that long before they propose. So, okay, guys, that's what I have for you. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. Have a good night.